Okay? I want to do that and, and bless you. But I want you to believe God with me this month. Um, I want you to look at um, Joel chapter 2. Joel chapter 2. One of the things the Lord has laid in my heart that it, throughout this month, this is July, this is July. Uh, July is always our month of praise. And that has been like that for over, God knows, I think for over um, since 2006. Yeah? This is 2015. Nine years now. July is, we always open a new gate with, with praise. And one of the things the Lord spoke to me is that this month, July, as you praise him, every promise he gave us in February, which is the month of manifested declaration, March, the month of restored fortunes, April, the month of his covering, May, the month of seeking his face, June, the month of unusual blessing, he's going to make them happen in one month. Amen. And, and that your praise your praise will make that happen. Please. That is, month, February was the month of manifested declaration. March was the month of restoration of fortunes. April was the month of his covering. May was the month of seeking his face. And June was the month of unusual blessing. And the four of them, the four capsules of blessings, God will cause to explode in your life in this one month in July because it's our month of praise. Joel chapter 2 says from verse 18 Then the Lord was jealous for his land and took pity on his people. The Lord replied to them saying, I am sending you grain, new wine and olive oil enough to satisfy you fully. Never again will I make you an object of scorn to the nations. In the name of Jesus. That is what's going to happen this morning. Listen, please sit down. Sit down. Let me just teach you something for in five minutes. Listen. The, 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 secret, the secret to um, blessing is for you to receive a prophetic word. Trust. A, and I, I think I say this all the, all the time. Uh, trust a prophetic vessel. Receive a prophetic word. And believe God to become what your prophet says. That is how I got to, you know, um, Bola and I, we, we sat down, we're looking at our lives over the past 18 years, and then, you know, you don't, and I, and I, when I came into UK, God gave me a prophet. Every, if I go to a new country, the very first thing I will say is, Lord, who, where is the man of God in this city for me? That's how to grow. That's how to come into God's blessing. Please hear this. Where, where, if I, if I relocate to, I don't know, um, America, yeah, Canada, and it's my first day, my first Sunday. In fact, that Saturday night, I will pray a prayer. Lord, where is the man of God? When something is missing, you ask, when something is missing, God already knows that that thing will be missing. So he positions a man of, that's how we do it in this kingdom, a man of God to bring his word to you. And we look that up in Samuel. You see, so Samuel was looking for his father's donkey. He didn't say, oh, okay, let's call the newspaper. Let's put, the, let's put an advert. Um, um, Tommy the cat is missing. Have you seen? No, no, no. He said, look, is there no man of God? Is there no seer in this nation who will tell us the heart of God concerning this matter? It's very important to, for you to have a seer in place. It's the way the kingdom of God is. You, you didn't create the kingdom. I didn't create it. We are that played by the rules, right? Or we remain where we are. If we are too smart to play by the rules, then we remain where we are. It's as simple as that. So when we came into UK um, many years ago, we came into a, a, a pastor, a young, a young pastor, and, I, and we asked the Lord, Lord, who, where, is the, where is the man you have sent to me? There is always a man for you. There is always a seer for you. Your seer may not be my seer, and we may not see from the same point of view. Are you listening? So, so, so when you understand that, and so he, that's what they pray. So when we came in, now listen very carefully. Every time when the Lord said, so we went to the church, and as I got to the church, the Lord spoke to me that this is the person I have placed my word in his heart for you. So once that was clear, I just rolled up my sleeve and we started serving in church. But you see, the difference between myself and every other person I met in that church then, right, was that when he says something, we labor in prayers and everything with God to become what he says. He, he, in his examples, we look at his examples, and I sat back and look at listen. This man, he, he's always talking about, he's always talking about um, 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 uh, 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 
professionals. He's always talking about the church becoming very wealthy. He's always talking about he loved wealthy people. He loved people who are affluent. He loved the Christ, Christians. And, he, and I thought, and I thought, well, wow, you know what? I like the picture of the believer and of the church that he's painting in this city. So what did I do? So we, so we decided to plug ourselves into what he was saying. But there were other people in the, there were other people we met in that church. Whenever he says something, they say, yeah, they laugh. They laugh, they laugh it off, they jest about it, but that was in my heart. That was in my heart. And within, within a year, within six months to a year, the profile of the seer, my life became the profile of the seer. Does that make sense? So what does that mean to you? It means that you receive the word and labor to become what you hear. Labor to become what you hear. Don't be hard-hearted. Labor, um, one of my sons put it this way. He says, that, he says that when you have a mentor, he said even if you don't believe in yourself, he said you do it because your mentor believes in you. In other words, for us to ride in the, in the prophetic, you have to ignore yourself and, and, and pay attention to who is speaking over you. 1994, God gave me a prophetic word. And, and, and at the end of that prophetic word, I heard, I heard, it was, it was, a, it was, a, and it was, at the end of that prophetic word, he said, he said, don't mind yourself, mind me. It was, I just, it was clear. And that was when he was asking me to leave, leave my home country to go to Cyprus. At the end of that prophetic word, he said, this was, this is, this is me hearing God's voice now, saying, don't mind yourself, mind me. So I packed my bag and I went on a journey, not minding myself and my fears and my anxiety, but I was minding the person who was sending me. The same thing. The same thing, I got that same word. I left my employment, and I received a word from the Lord, and I didn't mind myself. I minded the one who sent me. That's the same principle we use now in church. That's why the church is growing. We don't mind ourselves. We have nothing to offer, but we mind the one who sent us on a journey. So, so what am I saying? I'm saying that every, some, every, every first day of the month, we give a prophetic word. Don't mind yourself because you are too clever, too analytical. Mind, tell yourself, I don't know how this is going to come to pass. I don't mind myself, but I mind the prophetic word. Amen. So this month, this month is going to be a combination of the past four, five, four, February, March, April, June, God will make happen for you in Jesus' mighty name. Then verse 23 says, Be glad, people of Zion. Rejoice in the Lord your God, for he has given you the autumn rains because he is faithful. He sends you abundant showers, both autumn and spring rains as before. He will cause all of them to happen for you in one month. Verse 24 says, The threshing floors will be filled with grain. The vats will overflow with new wine and new oil. Praise the Lord. So this month, this month of praise, you are going to experience a newness, a dimension, a depth in God where God will bring all your dreams to pass in one month. Praise the Lord. Did you see the drama we just saw? Did you see the drama we just watched? That was it. It was, it's going to be in an instant. It's an instant. All the things you've been trying to do in the first half of the year, in this one month, God will position you. He will align you. He will bring help us your way. He will progress you in a very quick and rapid way. It's a month of catalyst. It's going to make things happen to you so fast. It's a month of combustion. Something will, go, com, will, will explode inside you that will propel you forward by force in the name of Jesus. Welcome, I welcome you to our month of praise. And so it says, listen, it says rejoice, 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 rejoice. So you need to make up your mind that nothing, it says be glad, people of Zion. It's not try to be. Right? Can you see that? Verse 23. Be glad, people of Zion. So nothing should see, so steal your joy. If you allow anything to steal your joy, you are messing around with this miracle coming to pass in your life. Nothing should steal your joy. You know, he said, said what? Be glad, people of Zion. Be glad. So you have 31 days of intense joy in your house. Praise the Lord. What did I say? 31 days of intense joy in your heart. So I, so I am asking you to be happy for 31 days so that everything that God has promised you this month will come to pass. Please, listen. I may not have six-pack. I may not have muscles. But one thing I know, I know my God very well. I know my God like I know the back of my hand. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I may not look smart. I may not look intelligent. I may not look articulate. But I know my God. And that is all I need to know, to be very honest. So please, don't mind yourself. Mind this prophetic word. 
Amen? And if you think that this seer is not good for you, go get yourself a seer somewhere. Don't waste your time. Are you listening? But if you're going, you going to stay and be pastored, be a sheep. Because it's for your benefit. No half-hearted mention. We go in it, we go in, we go in hard. We go in, we go hard. We believe God and we believe he sent what and we believe his prophet. Don't be shady. Don't be, don't be, I don't know. That. No, 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 no. Please. Yeah? It's for your benefit. It's not, not just for me. It's for your benefit. Amen? The blessings of God, when it comes on you, it's for your benefit. The testimony is yours. So, so understand spiritual things. Understand spiritual things. Amen? Praise the Lord. Let's try to our feet and just thank the Lord and appreciate.